Never too early to do a video, eh? <laughs> What's going on, guys? So, um, today we're going to review game number four between the New York Islanders and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, this game was going to get ugly. Um, there was a lot of brutal chances in here. You know, the players were going at it before the game in um, pregame warm-ups, and they were talking about how they're likely talking about the $5 foot long at Subway because, you know, why not? Um, so, Zizekas and Kunakal have left the bubble. Um, I thought I'd throw it in here. Um, Zizekas, that really hurts them. That really affects their team. Kunakal, he's been a healthy, stra healthy scratch a lot, so I think he'll be fine. And um, on the other side, which is like the bad news for New York, uh, Kalorn, which is done serving his one-game suspension, has returned to the team. And Braden Point, who is also who was injured in game number three returns. So um, I think that point isn't even 100%. Point, I don't think, is um is exactly fully back yet. So, yeah. And first off, I want to say, there's going to be no edits in this one because in the iMovie that I have downloaded on my phone, it does not have the um the theme that I need to do those actual, do those actual edits. So I can't. I can't. Yeah, it's not my choice. I can't. I can't do it. So, I am apologize. All right. Anyways, let's get into this. So, first period, Tampa hits the post. First minute, in. and if that went in, I think the game would have started getting ugly, and I think there would have been some fights early. And I didn't see that. There really wasn't that many um fights. I did not see these guys going at each other. Um, the Isles' first shot was at five minutes and twenty seven seconds. Took them 15 minutes to get their first shot on that Tampa team. And they had four shots early in the in the first period. And New York had eight block shots. So, yeah, Tampa was really, 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 really pressuring the Islanders. Um, there were, at the end of the second at the end of the first period, there was some confusion. Um, Matt Martin gets an unsportsmanlike conduct for shooting a puck at Vasilevsky at the horn. And you know, that always kind of causes a scrum. Which is what it did. And I don't know how Varlamov got um got a not Varlamov. Um I don't know how Martin got a penalty penalty for that, which luckily Tampa didn't score, or else I would have been like, Well that's kinda retarded, low key. So there you go. Um the second period was probably the most insane period you'll ever see. Um the Isles beat the Isles really began pushing halfway. They started to really find their game and you know what? It turned into a goal. Uh, Brock Nelson scored with Bailey getting the assist. one nothing New York. Tampa ties not long after that. Uh, it was a goal by Blake Coleman with Gordon Vasilevsky getting the assist. It's tied. And that's the first assist I've seen by a, goal seen by a goaltender in quite a while, actually. So, you know. And then, as you're thinking, you know, me, as I Islanders fans are thinking, you know, maybe they can get the chance. Maybe they can score a few more goals, and get up on the board. As soon as you thought that, Tampa scored another one. Um, Andre Pilat with Kucherov and Point getting the assists. That line was unbelievable this game. Um, that that line needs that line needs a name. We're likely going to find another name for that in a couple, in, in a couple of days here. Because uh, that line is lethal. Uh, that, that marks three goals in 27 seconds. Three goals in less than half a minute. Which, I mean, is absolutely unbelievable because, you know, I've never seen that many goals in that amount of time. You know, the second goal, Varlamov was not happy about that one. Varlamov thought he should have stopped the Palak goal, but he didn't, which um, sure got him pretty pretty amped up there. Um, Taze hit the post off of a Shattenkirk penalty, which was a delay of game. Yeah, a lot of post hits in this game and uh, by both teams, not just by one, both teams. And I've kind of noticed that um, throughout the entire throughout the entire playoffs, it's not just Tampa and New York. It's been Montreal and Philadelphia, uh, Dallas and Colorado. I've seen a lot of post hits throughout all these games. Um, second, not second period. Um, third period, the Bulls are pressuring hard early, and I think I was thinking to myself like, yeah, this is um, this is more this is like a Tampa game right now. This is more of a Tampa series right now. I don't think Dan Anders had a chance, are having chances at all in this series. 
Um, then there was another Tampa Bay goal with um, Point getting this Point with the goal and Palat and Kucherov getting the assist. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this line is absolutely insane. And um, the Bolts got a P. The Bolts PK is insane. Um, there was like six oh eight remaining. The Islanders needed to score, and the Bol the the Bolts shut them down. They had no shots on that power play. And then there was an empty net goal with Pat Maroon and Gordon Paquette getting the assists. It's 4-1. And that kind of puts the SD on a cake for uh, a, a series that was really all in control from Tampa from game one. I mean, yes, you I mean, yes, you see New Yorker winning game three, knock on wood, but a reminder that Tampa did not have Kalorn or Braden Point. So, you know, that kind of that kind of adds a little thing to it. And you know, heading into game 5, do do the Islanders win this? I I don't, I don't know. Uh final score is 4 to 1. Tampa Bay um the shots were 36 to 36 to 27 in favor of Tampa. As I said, Tampa was insane in this game. Um both teams were 0 and 3 on their power plays and the hits were 48 48. Three starts of the game. The um the line here, the BON line, uh Braden Point, Andre Palat, and Nikita Kucherov. That that's 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 probably the most dangerous line. I don't I, I can't argue any I, I I don't see any Islanders making it on there. I don't even see any Islanders making the top five stars. So I'm and even top ten too, because this Tampa team is they're looking like they're only one win away from a Stanley Cup final. Which could be Thursday. Now, if Dallas beats Vegas tonight and Tampa beats New York on Tuesday, we're going to see a Stanley Cup final as early as Thursday, and that's great for the NHL because, you know, it, cause, you know um, with the Stanley Cup final, they're going to have days off. You're going to have days off in between games, and there's going to be a minimal of four games. So by the time it's over, it'll likely be the beginning of October. So they'll have a few more days to maybe – um expand from free agency and all that good stuff so i'd be ready for this and you know it stinks for new york you know they had a good run it's not over yet but i i i'm kind of thinking it is you know i said i said at the beginning of this series that it was not going to be easy as easy as philadelphia and i still stand by that and um new york I think I think they're at I think they're at their breaking point. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, thanks for the constant support. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. We are trying to get to four hundred subscribe, five hundred subscribers by the end of the year. Um, again, I'm gonna type it in the comments below. I'm, I'm, I apologize that there will be no that there will be no edits in this one. There will be no edits for the basically the whole week, cause um. I don't have my computer with me, and the phone that I'm using, iMovie on, does not have the compatible um, theme that I need. So, anyways, I hope you guys understand. I'll tie, I'll post all post stuff out on social media about it. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.